what about the period of, of your most recent book, um, the, at the beginning of the 20th century, and, and Teddy Roosevelt? That's less understood, and the degree to which the country was deeply divided, and his part in, in the midst of that, and then ultimately how it resolved somehow. But are there, are there reasonable comparisons between that period of time and today? Well, sometimes when you hear the context of the turn of the 20th century, the rising gap between the rich and the poor, corporations having lots of power, people feeling like the middle class was squeezed, new technology making people, it was great, at the turn of the century they worried about the speed of modern life, <laughs> that somehow people were getting depressed because things had gotten too fast, and then I think about, my God, what about today? <laughs> But the interesting thing is Teddy Roosevelt's one of the few presidents who is considered a, a great president, and he didn't have that extant crisis, but he saw the hidden dangers of that era in which he was living, where there was no workman's compensation, women and children were being exploited, and he was able to mobilize public sentiment. That's where the whole word bully pulpit came. It was his definition that the president has a power to preach to the country and then the country can force or encourage the Congress to move. And he did actually do things that most people agreed upon, but it had just gotten stuck in the Congress being divided at that time. History tells you that when things seem intractable, though, we can make changes. I mean, that's why I love it so much. I mean, I think we're at a stage in the country in general, not just with racial relations, where we feel like our problems are so complicated we don't have power over them anymore, that there's not anything we can do as citizens but everything I've learned in the progressive era, it was citizens that pushed Teddy Roosevelt and the reluctant Congress to do the legislation that was needed at the turn of the century. It was citizens that began the anti-slavery movement. It was citizens in the civil rights movement in the 60s.